This scale is a mechanical scale. It's used by mechanical engineers. On one end, you'll see the designation half size. On the other end, you'll see the designation one-fourth size. There are other mechanical scales such as three-fourth size and so forth, but on this combination scale that we're using for this class, they only have the two scales, half size and quarter size. Now what these scales do is they reduce the actual size of the part so that it's smaller on the paper than it is in real life. It's one half its original size if you're using a half size scale and it's one fourth the original size if you're using a fourth scale. Now let's show you how this works. Notice that there is a zero that's our starting point. And as we move this direction, you'll see one, two, three, and so on. These represent the inches. From zero this direction, this is one inch that has been divided up into its fractional parts. So we have sixteenths of an inch, eighths of an inch, fourth of an inch, half an inch, and so on. Okay, let's take a measurement here. From zero to here is one full inch. And then everything on the other side of zero are the fractions of an inch. Since it lines up with this little teeniest line, that is a sixteenth of an inch. So let's count our sixteenths of an inch with odd numbers if we count the same length of lines. One, three, five, seven, nine. So this measurement is one and nine sixteenths. Now let's try it with the fourth size just so you can see the difference. This time we're going to have to line up with this line. Now they've only numbered the even numbered inches on this scale. These big numbers are coming from the other side and so we won't use 21 and 22, but they represent instead going this way, one inch, two inch, three inch. And so on this scale, we're measuring three and one eighth. So remember, this is a mechanical scale. It says either quarter size or half size and that's how you can tell it's a mechanical scale.